I don't think I'd be alive if, it, if, if generally if it weren't for them, Mark. I've had faggot shouted at me from a car window. What the fuck is that? Shouted at me. That happens a lot. Uh, one of them asked me if I wanted a fight because I think he thought I was a real man. So I put my best girly voice on and just went, no, thank you. In fact, I used to hate drag queens. I used to think they were the weirdest things in the entire world. I just didn't get it. thought it was so weird. But that was my internal homophobia, if you like, really coming to, sh to light. So I'd say that I've, I've always known that I am gay, but I've had girlfriends and stuff in the past, but they've obviously never been, it's not been like a proper thing. But when I was younger, I always used to, like, I'd go to my grandma's and I'd literally put on a night, it's like, she'd encourage it, like, she, she loved it. And I'd put some like little blusher on my cheeks and I'd, I'd basically running around like a little queen back then and I'd literally been about three year old. We are sexualized immediately. We are there to be like jeered at and like lunged at. And the amount of times I've been in clubs after uh, gigs or whatever, and the first thing that people have done is grab me. You know, not even speaking, just walking towards you blindly with their hands out. And it's. Well, I got into drag because I already knew Ebony. Um... And I've seen her develop from starting going into drag. Uh, me and my partner took her out for the first time in drag. And then that's how I met Bipolar. And then Naomi joined the group. And then I thought, oh, I could do this. If Bipolar didn't exist, uh, I can't figure out a world where she didn't. Surely it would have appeared somewhere, like she's super aggressive and pushy, so I think it would have come out as some kind of art at this point. Maybe not like a drag queen, but I've never thought about it because it's just it's just the way it is, I think. Like people I don't know, um, once when I was working at the Horcross, I was just stood outside, I think I was just chatting to a couple of customers, uh, maybe probably having a cigarette um, and this guy came walking past never seen him in my life um, and I saw him double take and look at me as he was walking past and I was like oh, regular it's not nothing new and he went all the way up to the corner turned the corner came back around the corner and started screaming at me about how disgusting I was this that and the other and like I would I didn't say anything to him I just stared at him I was like to me it is literally it's it's a support it's like a, a support network that is as close to family for me. Just, I don't know how to explain it. I get a bit emotional sometimes speaking about it. But uh, just the love that everybody brings, it just, it brings us all together as like a unit almost.